grand final now in the American North American EOS Cup, and we have five evolutions starting off the first game. Three on the left side, two on the right side. Glaceon, Leafion, a Blissey crosses Sylveon against Hooper, Espion, Umbreon, Venusaur, and a Blastoise. Let's get it. First game of the grand final. Who's going to be the champions of North America and represent North America at the Aeros Cup in London? Who's going to be it? LG or Alter Ego? Alter Ego from the winner bracket and LG from the loser bracket. It's going to be very interesting. Grand final. These teams haven't fought yet in a long time, so really hard to predict this one, but LG has been on form. Make an insane loser bracket run happen. Let's go aggressive here with Zuckdrug again on the crosser, which looks quite good this game. He's up against Espeon, up against Venusaur. They're very vulnerable to getting rock tombed. So I feel like Zuckdrug is going to have a great time. And finding those engages and finding those walls. Looking for the last hit. Rock slide, and he gets it. Level 4 already. So bad news for the side of Alter Ego. And now we already have level 4 Hyper Voice for Kiaros. Gonna look for the last hit and doesn't quite get it. As the boost auto take off Bulbasaur so does enough damage to secure this one. But Overlord already on board path with the Leafion. Looking forward, looking to be aggressive. Solar Bakers in. It's gonna just try to stack up, but they're able to stop it quite a lot. And now Overlord has to run away. Early he went down trying to stack on level 1 or level 4, I mean. But is able to run away from this fight. Yeah, 5 evolutions. In this first grand final. <laughs> They're just so strong in this early game that you just have to pick them. You know, if you want to not fall too far behind. Ninja Dot on Slash. This game. Just doesn't want to get one shot maybe by Venusaur. I guess that's quite... I mean, I, I do like it. I, I think it's a great choice sometimes. I feel like more people should be playing it. 17, 14, and maybe 22 points go in. Full Isaac is be built up onto Hooper. JA takes low damage. And cannot stop the 22 points from going in. AG already with 62 points. In the first two minutes. I mean, I like it. It's able to dodge a lot of damage. And you're able to, uh, you know, tank. You know, get maybe one shot by Venus or Unite. So. I do like it. Not so Blissey might sometimes dive in very deep. With its Unite move, can always just use it as well then. And buy some more time. I do think it's quite the underrated item. But of course, having to give up XP or Eject button or Full Heal... It's quite difficult to give up on, isn't it? 22 seconds for the first objectives. Rock Tomb now is going to get so much value for Zuckrug. Again, this game, I'm going to say it. Let's see if he can just carry it. Also, only Sludge Bomb for Venusaur. There we go. There's Rock Tomb landing. Onto Venusaur. And you can really see he's just stuck in it. It's not much Venusaur can do about it, but me look onto Sivion. Kiara was able to get back to the goal. And LG now heading towards spot. They're actually leaving their Blissey alone on top. They're leaving their support on top. Interesting decision by LG. I'm not sure if I agree with it. But they have their evolutions and cross it down here now. Doing so much damage onto Drew. He might just fall. I wish it not be enough. And Umbreon with that hyper voice. Special defense threat is going to get taken down. Jungle Book is very aggressive, but they take a huge solar beam into the face. But double KO still for Glaceon. As Leafion goes very deep. And they're going to secure the objective. First one going over to LG. Now, Roland is going to get Dofon by Overlord, but makes it back to the right side just in time. Hooper gets 24 points in. And they're going to try to score some more right here, but nope, we get taken down. Chase down. As Umbreon is aware of this, push might happening. He's able to defend the goal quite, quite easily. Blissey's still on top, currently fighting the Blastoise. Quite funny for them to see just leaving their Blissey on top alone against the Blastoise. Overlord is here, doing both damage. Going up against a Marchese, who's a very known Machamp player. Maybe we see some Machamp in this grand final? Who knows? I doubt it. Bliss Assist is going in! And Slash is trying to stay alive, and now Overlord's going to try to use that to maybe get a KO. Solar Blade, not enough damage. And... Espion is able to run away to safety. Or not, isn't Machamp known for... No, Machis is known for his Machamp, right? Or am I wrong? Am I thinking of someone else? I think so, right? Any NA people in chat? Yes? Yes. Yeah, but I, I doubt we're going to see it. But you know, it would be cool to see a Machamp. 
Yeah, so Rachelecki is now there, overload jumping very deep, looking for Hooper. Gonna try to secure the Rachelecki, he's gonna try to zone Espion away. But there's a huge Venus Ignite landing, but Blissey Slash gets the objective somehow. I don't know how Slash gets this one. Through all this damage onto the Rachelecki, but he does secure it. Blaster is with the Ignite move just for the shield to stay alive. Goes in with the Water Spot, he's... Okay. I don't, I don't know about that one, gotta, gotta be very honest. Jay gets bonked on. Double KO, but as also Overlord's gonna fall. But man, Glacier is doing so much damage right now. Which deck he will go in? Look at this point graveyard. 40 points go in. Yeah, and there's so many points on the ground right now, but I mean, they don't really matter. Doesn't even pick them up because it's like, why? Glacier knows it's not gonna score again. It's gonna head straight back towards center area. As Alter Ego starting up this Reggie Rock. Sakurak has Unite move going forward. Does Amrigan have Ignite? No, doesn't. They can't counter it right now. Sakurak just trying to buy time for his team to arrive. Overlord's around now. Regirock is going to leech, but oh, Espeon explodes. One beam, uh, one blade into one basic attack. Takes down the Espeon. It's just Eevee on Eevee violence. And Regirock gets taken down, secured by a G. Going over to Jay now, who doesn't have Hoopa Unbound. Where he gets taken down. Hyper Voice will be enough damage to also take down. Cooper Blastoise with a huge Unite now, but they don't really have enough damage to follow up on it. They're going to try to go for Blissey, and I think Slash is going to fall. And Blastoise can't quite get the KO. He's also going to fall. He is also going to go down. All right. 155 to 38 points right now. Yes, we have 20 seconds for the top, ready to spawn. And we're already so close to the double time. Wait, we're so close to find a stretch. Doesn't even feel like it, does it? Only one ten to go. This game has just passed by so fast. That's uh, quite, quite fast, yeah. One minute to go. Glaceon starting up the Regilecki. As LTE was looking for a play, but one more Unite move comes down from Leafion, but he barely misses both KOs. Leaf Blade, Eject Button goes in, he at least gets Venusaur. As Hyper Voice gets Hooper. But man, that was so close on getting two KOs there instantly for Leafion. Overlord has enough time to build up his Unite move. Back up. I mean, they're not going to be an instant fight anyways. 101 point lead for AG. Yeah, who has better Rayquaza team fighting? I mean, I do think Alter Ego for sure has better Rayquaza team fighting. Definitely. But Glaceon is 14. Sylveon is very high level. Jungle Book is going to be 15. And I think it might be just the difference maker. Having a level 15 Glaceon and 14 Sylveon, it doesn't matter what your team comp is. Those EVs are going to just shred through all your PHP so fast. Yeah, level 15 Glaceon. Level 14 Sylveon. Right side, Venus on 13, Espion on 12. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, difficult to deal with. The Glacier is going to have one Icicle Spear on Venusaur, or on Blastoise even. Probably Venusaur just dies to one, and Blastoise goes to around to a 30% HP. So, yeah, it's quite, quite weird. For Alter Ego to play this now. They'll be super, super careful. But Jungle Book also plays a passive. Doesn't want to get caught by anything right now. I see he's going to build up the crystals again. There we go, 8. Looking for the Isaac Spear, but he doesn't really press it. He's so scared of walking up. Isaac Spear, still not pressing it. Doesn't want to get into range. Playing it so safe as one points going for Espion. Currently, one point lead now only for a G left. With one minute 10 to go. I'm going to see a close battle notification popping up in 10 seconds. As Espion looking for the flank. And AG is being so passive. But now Espion goes down to one Isaac Spear. There we go. Espion gets one shot by one Isaac Spear. Might be more aggressive now. Venusaur Unite gets dodged by Glacier, and Glacier goes very aggressive forward. Now Jungle Book has the to safety. Shinja Doll for Blissey, but they're going to time it perfectly with the Blastus Unite. The Blast Unite is huge! As Jungle Book might fall. Jungle Book 1 HP, but Sylvian's going to jump over. Sylvian has to be the hero now. Four side of AG, two KOs for Venusaur as Overlord. What is Overlord doing? Does he get any KOs on top? He scored points, right? He scored 100 points. Which means Otter Ego needs 101 now. With only 30 seconds left, they have no chance to do Ray anymore. All AG has to do now is defend their goals. Can they do it? Sylveon running away. And AG might just be winning on time. Looks like they will do so. Can they score some points? If they score twice, they can actually win down here. Can they score any points? But trust this round. Huge SP Unite. They're going to maybe take on Sylveon, but they can't shield. Will be enough to block. 
And they only have 10 seconds left now. Can they somehow score points? It's down to Crust, it's down to Leafeon, down to Blissey to defend. But it looks like Ota. Ego, wait, 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 wait. There's some points where you're going in. No, they can't score. They're going to get stopped. And LG is going to take the first game of this grand final. Where the 15 Glaceon was a bit too much to deal with in the end. But Overlord, highest damage with 98,000. Draft number two, we have a Muse Karad again for Overlord with the Dragon Knight, Leafeon, Umbreon, Blissey. Going for no attacker. And Alter Ego going for a Garchomp with Trevenant, Inteleon, Hooper, and a Glaceon. Second game of the Grand Final. If AG takes this one, we head into a bracket reset. If Alter Ego wins the next two games, Alter Ego will be the champions. That's how it's gonna go. Muscarada for Overlord. Not the first time we've seen it today. Jungle Book. Now on Dragon Knight, I think that's the first time we see Jungle Book play Dragon Knight. As far as I remember, right? Might have played it before. But I don't really remember, it has been off games today. Mashizel on the guard chomp this time around. As he's gonna go for the Gibble Overlord. Has to eject by the way. Mashizel afterwards in the Bulldoze gets the first KO of the game. So he's gonna head towards the right side. And Mashizel is gonna look to take over this early game. Almost level 5 already. He's gonna pick up the Dragon Rush and be quite strong early on. There we go, level 5 already achieved. Which means he can always. Dragon Rush the White Pokemon to the left side. And Kiaro's almost falling. Trevenant getting taken down. Almost. Same for Leafeon, but is able to stay alive. But yeah, no attacker for, for Luminosity. I mean, I guess Dragon Knight's kind of like an attacker, right? That's, I mean, Dragon Knight with Hyper Beam is an attacker. So. It's a bit late, but that's obviously an attacker, right? <laughs> so, that's totally fine. Does a lot of basic attack damage. Kind of acts like, uh, you know, Cinder Ace or something. So, a jungle book knows exactly how Cinder Ace is supposed to be played. As he won the first world championship on Cinder Ace. Going for Jay now. He's going to start basic attacking. And there we go. Hooper's going to fall. AG also picks up a KO. But much is level 6. Highest in the game. He's going to be quite happy about this early game. For his guard chomp. for points go in in total for AG as Overlord no level 6 oh my she's on HP Overlord's gonna chase him down but can't quite go for it doesn't have any cooldowns left and he's gonna take the hyperspell spotted back to base flower trick getting that last hit and yeah I mean AG has been looking so dominant today switching back to their former roads Overlord back to top jungle book back to central slash onto support and they have been looking phenomenal with this so far today. And I don't know if Alter Ego is going to have a chance in this Grand Final. We always know how well AG also plays in Grand Finals. So, it may be very difficult. Jungle Book almost level 8. It's going to head down towards Spot Path. Going to probably pick up the Central Area for level 8. And then head towards Spot. He just wants to pick up the first Reggie of the game. Are we spawning in two seconds? There we go. There's Dragon Knight Evolution. He's even gonna... No, he's gonna do the blue buff, right? No, he's actually gonna skip the blue buff. Doesn't even do it. Just straight up wants to bot path. Wants to secure this one as fast as possible. Kiero's also level 8 already. And it should be an easy Reggie for the side of AG. Glacian's gonna go forward. Has the icy wind, but Hyper Beam is there. And Hyper Beam does so much damage. Easy secure. Leafeon jumping forward. b look is gonna land on the side of Glacian. Can't get away. Gets taken down. And we also are gonna have Trevenant falling. Two KOs for AG. Already, as they also take down the third one. 40 points, 33 go in. And what they're gonna are they gonna break the score? They can let Embryon pick up some more. They can keep the goal alive if they want to. But Embryon looks like it's gonna probably score. Oh no, they're gonna leave the goal up. As Intelion goes for the invade on the right side. And almost says they kinda lost the adventure on top. Two levels down on Overlord. As Overlord picks up the Regilecki. And they're gonna keep the bot goal alive for now, because they wanna try and push this one in. Overlord has you move up. Look for a double team. Into potentially Unite moving. Glacian currently has no defense moves left. There's double team running forward again. He's going to use it. The Reggie Lecky walks in. And they can take 12, 18, and 40 points. If they want to do so. There we go. 17. And now the 40 of Overlord. He's going to first farm a bit more. The Strength Knight jumps to the right side. They're going to stop Inteleon. No, Inteleon scores though. So I want Inteleon sneak by on the right side. Scores 30 points. And there we go. 40 going now for Overlord. Waiting as long as possible. Letting Blissey score one more time. And they get a perfect overcap in after the goal was set down to one point left. 
Now 196 to 51 points. Going so far ahead. In this game. And uh, Kiaros. Also doing very well on this leaf here on bot. Oh, Overlock might be caught and he does get taken down. Overlock going a bit too aggressive. As Auto Ego picks up a nice KO. Onto a uh, level 10 Pokemon, so that's going to be quite nice. But Machese can't quite look for the score. Blissey's around. Dragonite is around. And we already have the next objective spawning on what path. We have currently four units on the left side. We have only three on the also four on the four on the right side. But Dragonite Unite, honestly, quite useless, let's be honest. Dragon Knight Unite is not really it in most of the cases. As the fight's gonna start slowly breaking out. Reggie Steel is being pulled. That's almost gonna jump forward. There's Hyperbeam landing. What can they do with this? Reggie Steel, they're gonna try to zone away this Dragon Knight. They're gonna engage him with the icy Reggie. comes out. Mashizel is only level 9. Really can't do much. Ambulance gonna jump up, but Reggie Steel secured by the snipe shot. And now Alto Ego has a chance to win this team fight. Guardshop Unite moving forward. Blizz Assistance going in on to, on to who was it? On the left side on Dragon Knight, I think. Machese picks up the Blissey and Slash gets bonked onto the head by Votema. As Machese goes forward, they're going to find two KOs only. Machese going down so far. Traveling with the wonderful Votema horn lead combo onto the backline of AG. They take down Muscular, take down Umbreon. And Kiaros, though, comes back and also picks up some KOs for himself. What a back and forth fight. He's going to sprint over. He's going to score 33 points. And this is Swarblues will not stop him. He picks up three KOs out of nowhere. Just comes back in time. And now he's level, he's level 14 suddenly, wait. He's level 14. What? He's level 14. Wow. He just got so much experience. And they even lost the objective. Just comes in and cleans up. Nami Skirada finds another one on Glaceon. Oh, Milok is gonna land. Is he gonna take the double team? No, nope, but it's gonna do a lot of damage still. With the flower trick. And the double team damage. As Leafeon picks another KO, they're gonna try and score some points. Can they? Nine points going and 34 for Leafeon. Gyaros will be level 15 in this game, definitely. AG has so much experience. Even Jungle Book, 13 and a half. Overload almost 13. They're so far had an experience on their carries. Yes, we have another Reggie spawning in 18 seconds. And LG is going to go for this one, definitely. It's a long time before Ray spawns, so they don't have to worry about Ray being flipped or anything, not being in position. So I can easily go for this Reggie. Yes, they're going to zone out this Trevenant. I'm going to stay there, be a wall, but make sure he doesn't go down. The Reggie is being started now. I don't even know why Otaig is going for this. Can they somehow snipe shot? He's going to wait, eject button, put him forward. Joey's looking for the engage and actually zones them away. With the eject button, the Hyper Beam is quite early. Solar Blade will not be enough. They combine their abilities a bit too early. And actually, Glaceon gets the objective. Okay. But we did use our eject button on Trevenant. But I guess that's quite worth it for the Red Eyes. But can be the deciding healing in these fights. Overlord now is pressuring a flank, but 332 to 51 points. They're so far ahead. So, so far ahead. But Alter Ego, they have Snipeshot to secure. They have Glacier and Garchomp who can rip Rayquaza in like literally 5 seconds. So, AG can't afford to make mistakes. Jungle Book is on 14. 15 again for Leafeon. As Overlord's looking for a flank around. But Machine is starting up his boost auto attack. Drops Rayquaza onto half HP. As fight's gonna break out. Zakrak down to almost dead. Takes so much damage. And now Rayquaza might just get flipped. Garchomp's gonna go forward. They're gonna try to go for Dragon Knight. Actually, he has Machine going though. He's going very deep. Dragon has to fly out. Blissey stuck in the uh, Shinja Dogs going to Bliss Assistance. We have Leaf in. Leaf in is down. Kieros gets taken down. He's dead for 35 seconds. This could be the Shen for Alter Ego, but Overlord all over the back of the back line. He's going to find the Senate to double KO. No Rayquaza on HP. Does Shanga Book just go for the Hyper Beam? He actually is going to dr Dragon Dance outside of the Rayquaza pit. Now by take taken by a Snipe Shot, almost hitting him. Oh, Jungle Book, what is he doing? S Jungle Book! And Intellion gets the objective, but it's not going to matter, most likely. They're going to get rid of their shields. Hooper's going to lose it. Amir's going to walk to his left side. Jungle Book just dragon danced outside of the dragon, dragon pit. And the snipe shot comes in. But it's not going to matter. LG just has such a big lead. Most likely that it will not matter in the end. 
150 points to go. And it's only Intilium with the shield left, right? Garchomp doesn't have a shield. Intilium picked up another 50. He has 15 seconds left. Can he make something happen? I don't think so, right? 10 seconds. They're gonna try. If they score some more points with someone, someone else, but they have no shields left. Intelium's gonna go forward now. It's gonna go forward. It's gonna score some points, but it's still not gonna be enough. Unless he can pick up some more. The goal gets broken. They can't score anymore. NAG is still going to win. And we head into another best of three. But I'm so surprised Jungle Book Drang Dance out of the Rayquaza pit there. I feel like some people are just not confident enough to just go for the secure at this point. Oh my. Bracket reset, game one. Again, we have another entire best of three happening. AD, left side, we're going with the EVs. Glaceon, Blissey, Umbreon, Lucario, and also SP on right side now. A Dodrio being picked up. Double Speedstar, Double Defender comp by Alter Ego with a Dodrio, Leafeon, Trevenant, Hooper, and a Krussel. This best of three will decide who's going to be the champions of North America. So we have a Dodrio, which we don't see out too often anymore, which I'm quite surprised. I feel like definitely strong enough to see more play. But teams are maybe afraid of picking it. It does take a good amount of skill, I guess. To be played, it does take a lot of practice, and neither team might be practiced on it too much. Overlord gets the last hit right here. Goes back to the right side, it's going to take the berries. As he's up against a Krasset Top Path of Machizel. The Krasset Top Path coming out. On the side of <laughs> Alter Ego. What are they, what are, what are they have planned now with this game? I feel like this could either be a genius play by Alter Ego, or they're just going to get absolutely crushed, and it's not even going to be close. It might... It might even be close, honestly. That is quite, quite scary. Slash. And Shinjo is going to get taken down. And we have Krasse with the KO. Is actually a crit Krasse? Did he have crit items? I didn't pay attention. It's too late. I've been casting for 13 hours. Um, I have didn't, didn't check his items. Is it a crit Krasse? Was Does he have scope lens on? I didn't quite quite see it. As Roland with that bot path leaf here now trying to take over this path. Dojo gets a KO into Glacian. They're gonna invade onto LG's jungle. And it's gonna be difficult. Power Punch being charged up. They're gonna try to go for Roland. Meteor Mesh gets unstoppable by the full heal. Overlord's gonna try to chase him down. Power Punch! He's gonna reach him and take him down. With that Lucario gets the KO done. As he's gonna go for Crust the next now. Power Punch again into the Meteor Mesh. Much as the taking of damage as he jack bundled away. Overlord's next power punch is already up again. But he doesn't have enough damage because he couldn't charge it up. He's going to go for a quick one. 29 points. Go, Machizel doesn't stop him. He messes up his basic attacks in the grand final. Maybe the nerfs are hitting now. But he messes up his basic attacks and 29 points go in for Lucario. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. As we have Kratos looking for the flanks. Dot power comes through. Kratos picks up a bite toy. And Lucario gets the KO into Krasse. And now I feel like it could just turn into one-sided stomp, potentially. SAG is going to mean low key onto Kratos. Eject button forward from Jungle Book. Isaac and Spears are going down onto Dodrio. He's going to jump kick to the wall. Kira's on the chase. But they can't take it on. They're going to take it on Trevenant. There's a consolation prize in the end. And I'm going to be still be pretty happy with that. Can't take it on the Dodrio, but KO is KO. As mean look, it's going to be so painful for those two speedsters to deal with. I just don't see what they can do in this. I mean, I'm so surprised by these picks. If they fall behind, they also have no chance of ever doing Ray. Snap's so getting caught. He is down. Overlord again with the Bone Rush. Again. He goes for the Bone Rush. And Power Punch build. I mean, again, I'm a big... I used to love this build. I, I should play it again sometime. It's such a fun build. It just feels... I don't know. It just feels outpower creeped. By a lot. But it's definitely a super, super fun build that I do miss playing. Oh, future side here goes on to Lucario and Overlock goes down. Or Egon looking for the push. tri are coming in. Roland has Unite. Leafing could look for something, but it's so low on HP that uh, decides not to do anything about it. Pub Own Rush is the OG Lucario build, guys. That was the best build, Lucario build for the first five months of Unite. That was the best build in the entire game, almost, for the first five months of Unite's existence. 
Nope, he played early. It's all a misclick. Trevin going in with the eject button. He gets Umbreon. Has to go to safety, but he actually shows the future side. Or Espion just wants to pull it down onto Dodrio. Just point and click the speed style a bit more. Which I guess is quite fine in this game. I don't mind it all too much. I don't, I'm not a big future side fan. But against Dodrio Leafeon, I guess it can be quite helpful and quite, quite useful to just put it onto Dodrio and make his life even harder. Yeah, back then, Lucari was also, of course, very OP, so. Yeah. Since then, Power Punch was nerfed and stuff, and then at some point, e -speed took over, and then, yeah. Oh, Lucari and a close combat got buffed insanely hard, right? So. Power Punch goes in. Can he find the KO? Can't quite do enough damage. Overlord, Overlord looking out for Leafeon. I think his are going down onto Leafeon. Next Power Punch will be there soon, but the Rock is nice. The Rock Tube blocks him away. And they all get to safety. But 100 point lead for Alter Ego in this game. They able to get ahead in points. And let's see if they can maybe keep this lead. Level 10 for the two speedsters. Left side we have 11 for Glaceon. As other fights breaking out, cross going forward with the X's or when he has the Rock Tomb bit, I don't think he's for crit item if he has Rock Tomb anyways. Um, usually you don't. Of well, course, uh, critting is nice in that, but Chase Smash is increasing damage by Lord Jungle Book. Bliss Assistance, how do you keep him alive? Traveler going so aggressive now, locking up Jungle Book, and Slash is going to fall for sure. Glacier is also going to go down. Alter Ego now finding a team fight. That they need two KOs for Trevenant, as they're going to keep on chasing. Kiaros makes a back future side. Dodge away from the Solar Blade. Umbreon on the chase. Of Leafeon, but Leafeon is going to dash away, but there's going to be boost out tag landing into the Snarl. Can they take down Roland? Yes, they can. Zuckruck being so aggressive, what's going to work out? He's going to fall in the end. But now, bought enough time for the rest of AG to show up and take over this Regilecki. Yeah, he's going to look Harry with it, take it down, secure it, and move on to this goal. Power Punch being charged up again, looking for the engage. But doesn't quite go for it yet. I see his piece doing so much travel and just goes down. Gets point and click down by two EVs. Overall, it's going to die Shen, has the bone rush, but I mean, this bit doesn't do a lot of damage. But again, I see his spear. Jungle Book on this Glaceon. Every game. It is. is Glaceon has more damage than other Glaceons. He goes for Dodrio, Jack buttons away, gets another double KO, and Regilic walks in, and that's going to be Overlord scoring 43 points. Now up to 12 and a half. Oh my. And Bone Rush Plus is also super good in Power Punch, because a complete reset, so you can do three Power Punches. You do Power Punch, you do Bone Rush, you wait a second, you do Power Punch, and then you can Bone Rush Port and Power Punch again. So Bone Rush level 13 allows you to do three power punches. That used to be the old combo that you played, you know, and uh, went back when power punch, power punch did a lot more damage. It was very deadly. Very, very deadly. There we go, Regi is being taken, secured by power punch. So yeah, you can do three in total. Um, it's a quite, quite a good combo, definitely. 193 to 179 points. AG back in the point lead. I mean, Glaceon, Glaceon is something that just has to go, I feel like. It's just uh, a bad design Pokemon. It's just how it is. Or they have to, they have to just change how Isaac's spear works. No, guys, he's not flaming them for picking them. He's flaming the game for allowing these point and click Pokemon to be good. Guys, your understanding is common wrong. You're, you're all completely understanding is common wrong. Again, we're heading into the, into the final stretch, which we can talk about in a second. Look, are we not already being forced with Heaven and Star Power to be charged up? Going for Machiza next. And Machiza, Pwn Rush getting stunned. The sheet is so low. He's also going to get taken down. Two KOs now for the side. What can Dodo do right here? He just gets locked up. He can't do anything. He just gets taken down by the point and click damage of the EVs. Now it's out on to Leafeon. Maybe get a last hit, gonna jump forward, looking for the KOs, but Blister Sins goes on to Jungle Book, and Jungle Book just seems so on point today. Back onto the Jungle Roll, as Overlord is gonna go for Rayquaza, Power Punch is there, he's gonna secure it, and LG is gonna take the first game also in the Grand Final Bracket Reset, most likely. They're gonna hit towards the right side. Should be enough, Jungle Book might get blocked off right here, he actually can't make it, he's gonna eject button to safety in front of it, and he's gonna make it. 200 points go in, and 300, and 400, it's gonna be game! AG takes the first one. 
Game number two or game number four, depending on how you want to see it. Now Machis is picking up the match champion. We're gonna have five EV illusions. Three on the left side, two EVs on the right side, and again Overlord going for Lucario. Playing Massive Band to take with weakness policy in this build. Could be another power punch, bone rush build, or E speed and bone rush. We're going to see what he's gonna decide for this time. There we go, Machizel bringing out the Machamp in their final life. So, again, I was saying it, he was known for his Machamp. So, can he get something done on this Pokemon now? Is the questions of questions of questions. Machamp, of course, currently not the strongest Pokemon. It needs a bit too much time. As we have the EVs on the left side clearing the jungle together and then heading towards what path. Lucario on top already starting to stack. Angel has to have true chance. Meteor Mesh, Pick of Attack. Is it gonna be not enough, Overlord? Miss time, is it? That's a bit too fast. Now it's gonna get taken down. First KO. Over to Glaceon. No, actually, Espeon gets the first KO. Onto my, onto my champ. Both EVs. That's just so cringe, man. Oh, these EVs. Just get level 4, go top path, kill the enemy top path player. Both of them do the same thing. My champ goes down, trying to stack. Lucario goes down to the EVs. And we actually have. Now Lucari heading towards Sentry might look for a bot path gank. And Alter Ego might not be expecting this. Missing a fire for Roland this game. And yeah, Lucari heading towards bot path. I think Alter Ego doesn't know about this one. So Overlord might have a chance here of doing something. He's gonna dash forward and I think he caught him by surprise. Can they get a KO to Umbreon? Yes, Umbreon goes down. As I said, they didn't expect this whatsoever. And they're gonna dive onto this goal. 11 points go in for Leafeon. 11 for Lucario, and also some for Krassel. No, Kyros can stack up for free. 5 points go in, another point also goes in. They're just stacking up, Meanlock, nice! Fully there to dodge away from Meanlock, gets it off him, and Overlord is able to dash away to safety. He's gonna take a recoil. And 38 to 52 points now. Already in just 2 minutes. As we have, Kiero's getting... Oh, Robert Roland is getting caught. But has the focus band? Is able to dash away. Yeah, we only have point and clicks except for Solar Blade. Some of Solar Blade is the only not point and click ability of EVs in this game. I think it's raining down, but Umbreon's already gonna fall. Nice Rock Tomb down to Glaceon. Zuckwerk, barely alive. But of them are gonna stay in the moonlight. And we'll make it back to top and bot path. As uh, mid Atari is still over to LG. As they're just still looking so dominant today. What can Machilze do on this Machamp? What can he do? It needs a lot of experience, I feel like. It's the biggest issue. But it does have a Unite move that can decide games, right? Machamp's Unite is still one of the best in the entire game. And it can definitely make things happen for Machamp. But he might be caught right here. He has to jump to safety as Lucario is dashing in. Another 9 points. Gonna get scored. You're gonna keep on stacking fully. I think he might have six stacks already now, or just barely on it. It's probably very close to it at least. It's gonna dash in again. It's not gonna get the last hit. And the fight's breaking out on Buffy of the Red Ice now. And Alter Ego, very aggressive. Unite move of Glacier being used. It's gonna just use all these Icicle Spears onto Crusted, but Zuckerberg is able to tank it away. Lose the focus band, but they're gonna lose Glacier Unite in exchange as Joey is gonna face check. Midook's gonna do a lot of damage. Red Ice down to half HP. Mystic of Fire is jumping forward, who's gonna secure this one? Espion locks up the other EVs! There's just too many EVs down here, man. Solar Blade goes down, and it's gonna secure the objective. No jumping forward, Chaos gets one KO. Looking for the second one, Solar Blade's gonna be perfect. SSG gets the objective, two KOs. Machis are also going down on top. And now, I don't know if they can even come back already from this early game. Oh my, 111 to 89 points. They're gonna go for Kratos next. Kratos gets Solar Bladed on! And now, I very for Alter Ego. I very for them. This is not the early game they need, especially after already losing three in a row. And LG seems to just uh, be on top of their game. But Machamp is level 9, so Machisse has farmed a lot of experience. Makes it to level 9. Again, this game is nowhere to be over, of course. But, uh, you know, after losing three in a row, it's gonna be quite rough to be mentally in the game. But reverse sweeps have happened. As Lucario goes forward, there's Machamp, Bliss Assistance, can he find a nice Unite move? Maybe they lined up for it? He's gonna find Slash, and find Fight Overlord, Overlord's gonna fall. And there we go, this could be the comeback fight for the side of Alter Ego, it is to double KO for Machamp. Going forward, there's the Machamp Unite that I talked about earlier, that can make something happen, and he finds it. 
Going to fall forward now, Espion also, but they're going to get flanked by key arrows and three KOs. Go for Espion, four KOs. They get wiped by key arrows and jungle book. Both EVs jumping forward with the night moves. And they wipe Alter Ego. Only Umbreon is on board, is able to live. 40 points go in for Espion. Man, Jungle Book also has been playing so well today, hasn't he? And he has been on a support arc, so he is just playing Jungle again for like a week, but... Man. Jungle Book has been absolutely on point, except for the one time he drain danced out of the Dra Rayquaza pit. <laughs> Let's just forget about it, you know? He has done a lot of good things as well, mistakes can happen. As they're gonna head towards his bottom regi. It's gonna be a steal. Lucario is on top fighting over... Who is he fighting up against? Blissey. The healer is currently top. Porter Ego. Make it taken now by Lucario. Lucario is dashing onto the support. Crosses. Unite gets stolen by Umbreon. All the sheets are gone. Dogrick has to run for his life. I'm surprised people even still do this. They press Cross Unite in front of, a Luc uh, in front of an Umbreon. I mean, they trade Unite for Unite, so maybe they're happy with it, but Cross Unite has so much more impact, I feel like, than Umbreon. It does so much damage. This night going forward now. Machamp jumping in. He does, he does have Unite, but they're gonna hit the by the Ixos Zakrak now. Machamp looking for Jungle Books. Gonna jack the cross. He's gonna find them with a cross or crit. Look how Unite flies over. But already double KO now. Former Shizzle. His Glaceon is gonna run down onto Clefable. Lucario also done. And suddenly, Alter Ego with four KOs. The objective and a 50 cap. Okay. Machizel putting in work. 165 to 198, they're still behind by a few points. But now, they're kinda back in this game. Definitely. Not just kinda, they are actually ahead. In experience, across the board. Well, it's pretty, I mean, yeah, they're one level ahead, I guess, no? It's gonna be the same level, actually. Both are the same level. But that was a way of making this game even. But Shem's on level 13, he can start farming up his cross shop. He can now farm 80 additional attack damage throughout the next minute if he can find things to auto attack. So that's a lot of extra attack damage, 80. That's a full stacked, fully stacked attack weight on top of it. If he just gets some basic attacks in, he can start farming it up on the Regilecki. But of course, he would like to look for some Ataria, because Ataria, if you do one basic attack against Ataria, you get instantly four stacks. Onto your level 13 cross shop. And increases your damage by quite a lot. Alright. 30 seconds to go. Heading to the final stretch. NLG slate game is nothing too amazing, I have to say. Nothing too amazing. East Beetle Cario. Eh. Leafeon. Eh. Espion. Uh. The Fable is, of course, great. Cross is pretty great. The rest is, uh, yeah. You know, they're just there. They're fine. Nothing to write home about. Yes, now we head into the final stretch. Can Alter Ego take a game? Level 14 for Machamp, level 14 for Espeon. Both are the highest in the game. And again, Jungle Book has been absolutely excellent today. What can you do in this final fight? Cybeam is going to connect with Glacian. Glacian already kind of low HP, but the wish is going to be enough. Zakrak takes a lot. Nice to be a slash in a bad position. It's going to get me locked on. Oh, is Slash gonna go down right here? I think it's a landing. He's flailing his little arms around. Hoping that um, someone makes Isaac Speed do less damage. But it doesn't. As uh, Machem's gonna jump across the wall. Machizel. Testing a bit if he can look for an engage. Gotta wait for the damage punch now to be back up. As the fight's gonna break out. Oh, Leafion's gonna jump in. There's gonna go for the Rayquaza on HP. Who's gonna get this one? Machem gets it. Machizel. Machizel gets the Rayquaza. For Alter Ego. And I think they're gonna win this game now. They're going to jump over towards Espion. Espion almost getting taken by the Clay Doll. One of points go in. Wait. Much champ is going to score. Leaf and Sylvian is going to score. One champ is going to score. And we also have on bot path Glacian scoring. And Espion cannot score. Neither can Leafion. And I think that's going to be it. I think we have a final, final game. Coming up next. This will be the final, 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 final game of the North American Aeos Cup. Left side edgy. Umbreon. Blissey. Leafeon, Dragon Knight, and Venusaur going up against Machil Zilong Machamp again with Ushifu, Trevenant, Sylveon, and Declefay. This will be the final, 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 final game that decides who's going to be the final, final, final victory 
team for NA. It's going to be the final, guys. The final, final game. No, unlike Attack on Titan, this is definitely the final, final thing. Not like Attack on Titan, where it's the final thing and it goes over three years. This is the final, final, final game of today for the EOS Cup. Of all regions as well. Brazil is done. Latin America is done. Europe is done. OCE is done. It's only this game left of the EOS Cup play-ins. On who's going to be the final team on who makes it towards the EOS Cup in London. From the top one teams. So, yeah. You know, starting off strong with the G. Overlord back on the leap here. I'm looking for the last save, but doesn't quite get it, but it goes over to the other uh, EV around of Zakrak. He is going to get it. As much as again on the Machamp, this time having a pretty easy lane into a Bulbasaur, so might be able to get quite strong pretty fast. Something probably quite happy with. As the solar plate does so much damage, Wicked Blown, but they don't know about Ushi for being here. But no one, they're not going to face check into it. So they're going to be totally fine. As yes, they're going to head into this first Ataria fight. There we go. Level 4 for Sivion, for Rulin. Let's see if it's going to be Hyper Voice or Mystical Fire again. It's going to be the Hyper Voice this time around. Wicked Blow comes through. Damage being traded and Kratos stuck in the mean look. He's going to get taken down. First KO going over to Overlord and Leafeon and Luminosity Gaming as they're going to dive onto this goal. Looking for Trevor the next Dragon Dance away. Hyper Voice doing so much damage, but the Soul Bay comes down again. And another KO. Now Overlord can stack so many. Oh my god. The Solar Blaze just smacking onto the ground at lightning speed. And Overlord was able to score four times or something as well. Ay ay ay. That is a terrible start for Alter Ego and a great start for LG. That's not what you want to see with the Leafeon. Getting this easy KOs there. With three Solar Blades, three KOs pretty much. And... Oh, yeah, another one. Solar Blade goes down. And another one. Oh my god, he does so much damage right now. Already so stacked. Onto the attack bait. Wicked Blow is not going to be enough. Solar Blade gets another last hit. And Overlord already level 7 and a half. As Machizel picks up Blissey. Guys, it all comes down to Machizel saying it. It all comes down to Machizel. On this Machamp. He's gonna go for Kiaros now, looking very aggressively forward. Wicked Blow being charged up, they not know about us, but Kiaros doesn't get hit, they're gonna go forward. Can they hit on Kiaros? Yes, they can! Hyper Voice will be enough damage, and Kiaros gets caught. And taken down, Jungle Book on his way to level 8. Oh, we have Leafin jumping forward, Solar Blade, easy KO. Overlord. Yes, he's gonna look for the next ones. The Blade does just so much damage, right? Overlord going forward again. I was looking for yet another thing. But the Solar Blade just one-shots the bunny! Just kind of one shots it. No slash might be caught though. You use the Shinja doll. Doesn't have X speed or anything. He's gonna probably not get away. No, he doesn't get away. And KO goes over to the side of Alter Ego. Oh man. But Overlord's so strong right now. But he can't stop Jay from uh, scoring. So he's gonna still get quite, quite strong. Regi is low on HP. Hyper Voice. I mean, Hyper Voice. Hyper even comes out. And a Dragon Knight secures the Red Eyes for AG. Ushif was not going to be in time. And Leafeon farms another KO. Oh, this could just be a complete stomp now. This could be a complete utter stomp. As AG is going to pick up the Red Jaleki very fast. Red Jack's going to bounce towards the goal. And then she's going to go in. It walks in at 17. They can score 37 or 40, and they can score another 40 points. Even they're going to wait a bit, of course. They're going to farm other bunnies. They're going to wait until it's until like two seconds left, and then go for it. Here is already waiting. He's going to walk over now. And now Machis are also in a bad position. They just walk up a bit too far. But is able to dynamic punch cross shop away to safety. And uh, yeah. Just going to see what happens in this late game. It's already 181 to 23 points. The late game of Alter Ego is quite decent, but is it enough? To be the Venus saw Blissey late game? Not quite sure. I'm doing as well. This time can just lock up the Machamp, maybe enough. Uh, yeah. Five, to, five minutes, 20 to go until we have a winner. Until we have a champion in North America. Is it just going to be AG? Or can Alter Ego make it happen? Big blow being charged up, but Kratos can't anything done. Has to check button to safety, but the Paladin is going to chase him down. And Ushifu 
is gonna fall. Man, these are Shifu picks. You have seen some of Shifus earlier today by other teams, and it's just not it. This 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 is just Ushifu. It's just so. It feel like it never feels good whenever I see it. They're getting taken down. Trevenant with a huge engage. Big Plus being charged up. Overlord jumping up for the Bliss Assistance. And they're able to get a KO. He's going to jack button to safety. Machizano on the chase. He's going to jack button to map control. But he's going to get Overlord. That's so much experience going over to Machamp. He's going to be super happy with this one. As he KOs the little bit 12 Leaf here. Now up to 11 and a half for himself. Alright. I mean, that's the KO you need and want. He's going to score 40 points on top of it. And now Alter Ego is in control of this Reggie Rock. Oh, she was gonna go forward, gonna look for the Night Move to Dragon Knight, and he's gonna find it. Victor Blow is gonna be enough damage? No, not even. Oh, she was so bad. <laughs> Doesn't have enough damage to get this Dragon Knight, but he's able to zone them away. Dragon Knight, Dragon Knight! No, he can't land. Victor Blow is gonna be enough to get the last hit, but now Kiaros is here, finds a huge Knight. They're gonna run down two. They're gonna look for the third one onto Sivion, who's trying to run for the hits. Kiaros is on the chase. But I don't think he should be over chasing too much. Yeah, he's gonna leave Sivion alone now. SLG is going to try to break the goal, and they're going to go on to Joey, and Joey has no chance, stuck in a 1v4, 1v5 even. As they're going to... Oh, the Blissey mess up? No, Blissey scored 40, never mind. Blissey scored 40, I thought it was a bit less. As Sabion's going to break top goal with 40 points. And... The favor is going to fall. Machiz is now level 12 and a half, getting close to 13. As Slash gets caught, just trying to stack. Or trying to build up his Unite move again. You know, sometimes this is like, uh, you know, a classic uh, Blissey move. You use Unite, you run to the right side, you try to score a few points on the ground, and then you die. Because every time you die, you also build up Unite move back up faster. Or you get Unite move recharge whenever you die, so it's gonna be quite quiet, you know, and just build up Unite move very fast. Yes, we have one minute to go. Visual up top. One minute to go for the final stretch. The final. Final, final stretch of this grand final in the AOS Cup, North America play-ins. Ay, ay, ay. Chaos on his way to level 13. Pedance Plus will be up very soon. They're actually gonna fly onto the goal. They're just gonna score. They're like, okay, five of you are down there. Who have fun with our tier 1 goal. We're just gonna fly onto your tier 2 goal, and they're gonna break it with 100 points. And the Reggie Lecky still has to be defended. It's gonna walk towards the main base right now. So the Ego has to clear it very fast. But Champ is level 13. What can Machizel do? Can this Machamp that I talked about earlier into this grand final, can it be the deciding Pokemon? I hope it'd just be absolutely amazing if Machamp can make something happen here. He's gonna set up a flank on top left. He's gonna try to look for Kiaros or Leafeon. He has to look for a flank because he doesn't want to straight up get mean locked. But Umbreon knows about it. Umbreon knows that Shamba Champ is going to flank, right? It's obvious. So he's going to walk forward now. Oh, that mean look. Could have almost connected on Shamba Champ. But yeah, Zakrok of course knows that something is going to happen. And AG has a point lead. 335 to 27. Machamp looking for the flank. The fight's going to break out. They're going to go for straight up. There's Machamp jumping over. Can he find a unite move? Yes, he can. 2-3. Go down off AG. Machamp. No way, Machizzle. <laughs> no way, he jumps across the one, he finds the Unite move. He gets himself a triple KO. And now they're gonna go for Rayquaza. Zakrak is not gonna get it. It goes over to the side of Alter Ego. There's no way Machamp is gonna do it or what? He's gonna wait for Clefable to score so he can double score. Good patience. And that's one of the points then. They have now a... Very solid lead. AG have 50 seconds left to make something happen. They have to wait for Zakrak to respawn. They are all grouped up in a terrible position. They got flanked. They all grouped up in the choke between Rekwaz and the left side wall. And got punished heavenly for it. By the Machizla. And Jay is going to run toward the enemy base. They're going to score more points. And I think this should be it. There's no way AG can score enough points. They don't even have enough Aeos energy. Those go in, 100 go in, and some might say it's karma, but AG ends up not winning the grand final. It goes over to Alter Ego, who win the bracket reset, 2-1, to one, off of the Machamp, off Machizel. Absolutely unreal. We have champions of North America right here.
No way. No way. Ay, ay, ay. Tenkos Overlord, they were taken with the early game. And then they just all grouped up. And Alter Ego, champions of North America, they book their ticket to London. Overlord doing 51% team damage on a Leafeon. That's gonna sting. That is definitely gonna sting.